All right. So earlier this morning, we had a badass Alliance Conquest match. And um, I wish I could have recorded it. It would have been fantastic to stream it and kind of talk about what we're doing while we're doing it. Um, but unfortunately, I'm back in the office full time. And during the week, it there's just no way. I can't get on voice. I'm, I've actually have to work and have to sneak to play the game. It's just it's just not fun, right? Um, so yeah, fucking work. But I wanted to go over some of the reports that we had, and um, I don't believe yeah, I still have them. Okay, good. Um, I I don't believe we have some room for improvement with the match. And um, we had a great match, and, and some people stepped up that normally didn't. And without those people, I really don't think we would have won this match. And as you can see, we'll go to the match history. I mean, <laughs> we were a little over a 1,000 points on the win. Um, they had more people than we did. They had more players. And um, they had more power, and they had more troops. So... We did exceptionally well, overcame some odds, and um, was able to hold key points on the map in order for us to catch up. And what those points were, were the, both of the ports we held for the majority of the time. Um, we went back and forth with Warrior Tower, and um, we held Casterly Rock. And... We did not initially take Casterly Rock. We were, you know, very slow in, in taking it. And I don't think that was anybody's fault um, particularly. It was just, it just, they just used 75% speed ups. And there's nothing that I don't think anyone could have done. Um, it, it's just kind of luck, right? So either you get it off quick or you don't. And there's a lot of things that can go wrong in the, within those split seconds. But nonetheless... We lost the initial take, but we were able to rally, 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 and whittle it down to the point where we took it, and they could not take it back from us. So that was a fantastic job by, uh, by uh, I, I think it was Joe, uh, Cool Joe. He ran the a rally on Casterly Rock. Uh, Rebel Zombie did, did awesome with it. Um, she actually filled in for me because normally I'm, I'm in voice and I'm kind of directing things and the flow and whatnot, but uh, she did fantastic filling in for me. And uh, Delightful. Delightful was, was key in taking uh, Casterly Rock as well. And without us taking Casterly Rock, we would have not won this match at all. And um, Red did phenomenal. Um, he ended up taking the enemy port for the majority of the time. And those guys just fault like hell to get the port back and they couldn't kick red out until the very end they kicked red out because we were kind of focusing on getting casterly rock and some other uh points and weren't really paying attention to to uh to to their enemy port but they were able to get a bunch of rallies off but it was too late they could not they could not come back um and in fact once that happened they were gaining on points and what we did is instead of rallying the port again and marching all the way across the map because we didn't have the time to do that uh, a lot of our players started attacking solo castles and um, we, we made up the point spread that way and was able to, to maintain but if if there would have been just a little bit more time left in that match we probably would have lost that um, because we, we lost the port but um, Red did well, uh, Delightful did well, Phantom uh, did a did a did a very good job. I think he was he was key in taking one of the ports at one point. Um, Pepe, he's usually our Speedy Gonzalez. He 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 takes usually Warrior Tower. Um, problem was is we weren't able to secure Warrior Tower uh, initially because they they ended up getting the drop on us. Um, but I think Pepe rallied and then I went in behind him and solo killed the rest of them and I was able to hold Warrior Tower. 
and they couldn't take me out of Warrior Tower after that. They tried, but they couldn't. Um, Dragons did well. I mean, as you can see, Jim, he took one of the strongholds and, and just basically held it the whole time. So he had T4s going out, um, attacking enemy points. And uh, it, it was just, it was, it was a really good match. Um, so here's the eliminations, healing. You know, we, we, we wounded a shit ton of their, of their troops in the process. And of course we did too. It's a good thing we had as, uh, as many heals as we did. But let's go over some of the reports. So initially, at the beginning of the battle, um, this was the Warrior Tower. After Pepe's rally hit, there were uh, almost 2.8 million troops in there in the Warrior's Tower. Um, after Pepe's rally hit, I soloed it. Think didn't think I was going to win, but I did. I ended up kicking him out of it, and I, I took it. Um, they attacked us, trying to get it back. Solo hit us. We had 1.5 in there. They had 407. Um, we wounded every single one of those troops. And that's a lot of healing. Any UT4 players out there know that's that's a lot of healing right there. Um, this guy tried it again. 519k wounded. Uh, again, a lot of healing. We had... 2.7 in there. Um, see, Zombie tried to get the port. She won. That was our port, I believe. Um, Pepe, again, was rallying either there. Yeah, our port. Yeah, our port. Um, so it was a back and forth match for the most part. Lannister Port. Um, a guy tried to tried to kill me solo and couldn't do it. Take my points. And I reinforced Tom Long, but I don't, Tom Long wasn't strong. I don't think he had anything in his castle. Not much. But anyway, um, lost that one, so not a big deal. Healed up. So this is where Red, um, he, he took their port and, and they tried like hell to, 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 to kick him out. They even, they even put their stronghold on him. Let's see, here's, here's Zombie. Zombie and Deli, the, delightful. They, they both, uh, were, were teaming up on, uh, well, no, not yet. They were kind of doing their own thing until they started to team up. But they got some victories in here at Casterly Rock, but it wasn't enough to kick them out. Um, so that's when I think Zombie and Delightful made the call to, hey, let's work together uh, along with Cool Joe to, to, to kick them out of Casterly Rock. And... There's the port. Okay, so here's here's one of zombies uh, on Casterly Rock. Another victory. Not enough to kick him out, but still a victory. Um, Delightful was, was going at the port, and then Joe got in on the party in Casterly Rock. Um, surprisingly, Joe did really well. Um, with only 1.7... I mean that that wasn't that wasn't that bad. It, it softened them up for sure. And then Phantom was in the port, and then Delightful uh, rallied Casterly Rock. Sorry, dogs again. And then at one point, Pepe was in the port, I believe. And I wasn't in the rallies that took Casterly Rock because I was focusing on other areas. But um, 
I think it was Rebel Zombie and Delightful. They both they ran two sets of rallies and and timed them perfectly where they where they hit almost at the same time. So there was no no room for any reinforcements to sneak in between the rallies. Uh, so they did it once and it didn't work so well. They immediately went back and did it again. Both rallies hit at the same time. Rebel Zombie ended up taking Casterly Rock and we reinforced the hell out of it. And once we reinforced the hell out of it, we had 4.4 million or something like that in there and they couldn't, they just gave up. They tried, but they just, they couldn't, they couldn't take Rebel Zombie. Rebel Zombie's got a, a heavy spear uh, infantry formation, uh, spear int formation, uh, specializing in, in spear because she's really high in spear. So they were, uh, they were struggling a bit there. There's my dragon rallies that I was running earlier. Um, this is some solo hits that I was doing to try and, at the end of the battle, try and, try and, try and keep the point spread up just for that last few minutes. Um, but <clears throat> nonetheless, excellent. So some room for improvement on this last Alliance Conquest match is, um, is we need we need we need the players we need players that'll do the following okay so two to three players need to be assigned to each castle so for example Targaryen outpost we need to have two people assigned to initially taking that and I know it's a waste of speed ups because only one person can get it but Oftentimes, when we only have one person speeding to a castle initially, there's there's room for error there. So at least having two people go for it would be a reason to have would would be backup essentially. So if um, you know if if me and Rebel Zombie were going after Casterly Rock, and you know I'm sitting there, we're both watching the timer and we're both clicking at the same time and and something happens and say a, a cat jumps on my desk or something like that or i miss the speed up click because sometimes that happens it does us like a little scroll thing which is friggin stupid but it but it happens and um that that could mean that could mean success or failure there so if you have two people doing it your chances increase of, of gaining that initial initial point and and you really want to take it initially because you get points for taking it initially and you also get um it's harder to get kicked out once you're in it's harder to get kicked out because you can have everybody reinforce you because the bubble comes up so um that's one area of improvement is have two people going after the same assigned to the same point um uh, initially and that way those people can rally it if they lose it so it's back-to-back -back rallies. Um, another thing that we need is we need more rally leaders. Um, we, we, I found it a little difficult in this during this match because we didn't have the normal, didn't seem like we were flowing very well with the rally leaders um, until until about mid-match. Mid-match is when we started clicking and everybody kind of started working together. Um, so for AC, what you really need is you, re you really need strong rally leaders and you really need strong rally fillers. <clears throat> and those rally fillers can reinforce as well. So as soon as rallies are launched or are, are created, the rally fillers need to fill them as soon as possible. Um, and as soon as they're filled, the faster we can get in there, the faster we can get in there and get the rallies going, the less likely they're going to have as many troops reinforced. So, um, you know, if a rally is, is, is created, it should be, uh, you know, it should be marching within a couple minutes. Um, so we need more, we need strong rally leaders and we need rally leaders that work together. And we need rally fillers that their sole responsibility is to reinforce and 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 fill rallies as quickly as possible. So, any other ideas you have about uh, how to go about 
winning an alliance conquest. I'm all ears, you know me. I, I learn every day from everything, from everybody. Uh, I research this crap, and um, it, you know, if you guys got any suggestions, let me know. Thanks.